Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Color Me Badlin. Back with another share from one of our favorite boutiques. Yeah, you guessed it. The Blue Bag Boutique. I have three scents, three mail scents that I wanted to come on and share with you guys my first impressions of what I think about these scents. Now we're in luck today because they have stickers on them with the names of the fragrances that they are dupes for even though it says this fragrance is not associated with blah blah woo ti woo super excited if you're interested in finding out what fragrances i found at the blue bag boutique please continue to watch okay so again welcome to our channel if you are not familiar with who i am and what we do over here and color me bad nation i am her at least that is who i go by over here uh in these youtube streets and also uh instagram i'm taking a little bit of a sabbatical from instagram but there are um some fun times that we've had over uh there so anyway welcome to our channel um just to give you a little bit of a brief scenario about what we do over here uh, we talk about all things beauty, um, fragrances, we talk about a little bit of makeup, hair, real and not, love, relationships, romance, um, a little bit about dating perhaps, family issues, and faith most importantly. And if I forgot to mention something, we are probably going to tap into that subject if we haven't already uh, uh, delved in so let's get into it um, one of my passions and hobbies is collecting fragrances if you're again not familiar with me uh, we are super glad to have you make sure you shout it down in the comments where you're from um, if you become a subscriber make sure you type that down below and let us know that you are watching also I love to hear what your favorite uh, fragrances and scents are right now uh, what your favorite body creams and lotions if you're a baby oil or Vaseline person shout it out down in the comments all right so let's get into it oh yeah 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 and we do have a part two of our uh, Valentine's Day scents or scents that are in my collection that are perfect for Valentine's Day we're, we're gonna upload that in the next day or so so watch out for that that should be really really fun as well um, as you can see, I have a special guest with me again today. Um, it is Teddy. Say hi to the people, Teddy. Maybe by the end of the recording, uh, he will say something. He's a little shy. All right, so let's go. Again, these are scents that I found at the Blue Bag Boutique or uh, RainbowShops.com. Um, you can also, if you have a rainbow store in your local area, you can just walk in um, to their store and purchase fragrances. Um, this is so much fun for me. These fragrances are $4.99 each or you can buy three for $10. I hope they don't change that. Uh, you know, um, I really like that because it gives me an opportunity to have a little bit of fun. You know sacrifice a little lunch money and dig in deep and see what we've got and i found some really good scents so let's see these are three male scents i really don't wear men cologne i do have several unisex colognes in my collection i do i got a few i love um but these are ones that i would gift away or give them to my teenage son or something like that all right so the first one is called villain ode cologne and it's made by a company called sakura um, and this says, this is not associated with the makers of Sauvage by Dior. If I haven't already shared before, Dior is one of my favorite uh, fragrance houses. And so I'm always excited when I find something that is a dupe for that to see what they're working with. Now, I'm going to be able to tell you right off the bat if they did a good job on this. Because I love a good Sauvage, honey. Okay, that's one of my favorites of Dior for men one of them um, my favorite I think my favorite Dior scent for a man would probably have to be 
Fahrenheit. That's my all-time favorite. I do have a little, a little bag to drop my little paper in, just so you guys know. I want to show you guys the inside of the box. This is a little bit different from the normal packaging from the fragrances and colognes that they normally carry. I know that I mentioned before that I've been tearing these boxes up because they're made a little bit um, lighter and more delicate than the older boxes and so I'm really careful on how I open these now but I wanted to show you what I do like about these packagings and that is that they are really really uh, the, the cologne or the bottles are really snug in the boxes which secures the bottle um, it keeps it from getting bumped up when it's traveling and being shipped and handled and purchased um, and that creates less breakage leaking and things of that nature so I really like that. I really do. All right. Okay. So the bottle is closed. Okay. Again, this is Villain. This is a scent that is a dupe for Christian Dior's Savage. So let's find out. Now I'm going to spray on my skin. I'm going to spray. I'm going to scrub down. So I'm not worried about the scent um, getting on me and me smelling like a gentleman. Now, sometimes these have the notes on them, and this does. So, let's read the notes. And I'm going to tell you right now, fresh out the gate, this smells really, really good. It's really, really fresh. Okay. So, this has cardamom, bergamot, pepper, little notes. It's so light and faint. And you would think I got my glass on. I should be able to see this. I don't know, y'all. I might have to go get my real glasses. Hold on. Okay, that's better. I had to go get my real glasses. Those glasses were some glasses that I bought as a backup while I was waiting to get new glasses. Um, and so I bought those so I could see a little bit when I had to read a little. You know, a little bitty writing is a little bit too much for me sometimes. And this is so faint. I had to go get my real glasses, honey. Okay, so again, villain. This is... Calabrian bergamot. Okay, then we got pepper. Then your middle notes or Sichuan pepper. So this is a really peppery. This smells good, you guys. Like really nice. It has lavender in it. I can smell the lavender, and I am not a lavender person. Like when I tell you I don't care for lavender at all. If lavender is in a scent for me, it has to be disguised and it has to be coupled with notes that kind of cover it up a little bit and mellow it out and and get rid of that that smooth yucky creamy soothing type of scent i don't care for it i don't know what it is about that scent uh, but this smells really good it's not overpowering so we'll see what this turns into um so they snuck that in on me but i'm okay with that because i have a lot of fragrances that have lavender in them but it's done they're done so beautifully it's not overpowering and so it's not a big deal so um never mind me on that but i do not care for lavender at all um this has pink pepper vetiver patchouli geranium and let me your base notes are ambroxan i love ambroxan cedar and labdomen um these are really really good quality notes even though this fragrance is only $4.99 five dollars um well, i'm gonna tell you right out the gate this smell really really good i really really like the scent of this i am very impressed it has the christian dior vibe of course it is not the same quality as a christian dior fragrance especially not savage that is one of my favorite fragrances of theirs for me um it's uh, it's close to fahrenheit in my heart fahrenheit is my all-time favorite i don't think they'll ever come out with a scent for me and better than fahrenheit fahrenheit is so good that a female can wear it it's that delicious but this is really close and this is really good. Again, this is a villain. Eau de Cologne by Sakura. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Perfect for like a gym scent. If you like to throw scents in your gym bag, if you work out a lot, um, a work bag. Um, I can smell that for bedtime. And some gentlemen um, have the body chemistry where you can wear colognes. And let me take these off. My lashes are getting in the way. But some colognes and fragrances and some men's body chemistry can carry a scent like that. I know a couple of uh, a gentlemen, a young lady and a gentleman, 
that um, have a couple of those fragrances that I mentioned and they last all day long on them I've got a couple that last on me um, so it just depends on your body chemistry and how lucky you get with these but that's the cool thing about trying these they're only four dollars and ninety nine cents so if they don't work for you you're not out here spending you know 50 to 300 bucks on a cent and then saying ah oh, this stinks you know what I mean and so I really really like these that is really good I like the way it smells okay so next on the list we have two more to try out the next one and these I haven't like I said I haven't smelled these yet um, you can find these scents again at rainbowshops.com this one is called battle okay uh, I like the box I like the name um and uh this is a definite cologne it says this is not associated with the makers of la male jean paul gaultier uh, you know me i love a good jean paul, paul gaultier fragrance i just had somebody ask me yesterday what was i wearing and uh you know we layer up and everything like that and so you know i play crazy on them you know sometimes you wear things that you just don't want to share um your exclusivity and so i told him i said well if you buy every single john paul gautier fragrance for women i'm sure your wife will like all of them <laughs> so this one is uh la male by john paul gautier it's the dupe for this is supposed to be a dupe for this one so let's see what we got asking me about what i got on don't worry about what i got on Oh, you, he said you don't want oh, you don't want nobody smelling just like you, huh? I said it. Nobody, no two people smell the same. You can buy, you can put the one for the same fragrance on ten different people. It's gonna smell ten totally different ways. So that wasn't my point. My point was is that's none of your business. It's a little too personal for me. <laughs> so let's dig in and find out. Some people you don't mind sharing that information with. You know what I'm saying? So it, it wasn't a big deal. It was just how he asked it. You know, sometimes people ask things in a way. You know, they have a certain tone. And they and they and they, they it's just, you know, y'all call it energy nowadays. Um, you know, the vibes wasn't right. I, I didn't care to share. So this is how it's packaged in here. Um, I'm excited to find out what this smells like. Again, Jean Paul Gaultier is one of my faves. Uh, and so I'm so interested to find out what this is going to give. Okay, guys. Okay. So this is really, I was interested to find out. This is really, really close to how their bottles look. <laughs> it's close to their, you know, they normally do a female bodice or a male bodice. So this is really close. I really love black bottles. Uh, this is the back of the bottle. So if I were to keep this in my collection and display this, I would display it like this. It really doesn't matter. Uh, but I don't know. I'm like, you know, I love black bottles. I collect black black bottles. Let's find out what we got. Yeah, come asking me what I got on. I was like, I don't know. Let's see. Let's we'll figure it out. Who wants to know? <laughs> okay. So while that is coming down, we're going to read the notes. You know, they put the notes on the back of the boxes. So it says scent notes. I love this. Okay, your top notes in this one is cardamom. Your middle notes. Here we go again with this lavender. You'll find lavender in a lot of male fragrances. You really do. That's why I'm real picky about male scents because all of them aren't good. This smells like a fresh bar of soap to me so far um lavender iris your base notes or vanilla we got oriental notes and woodsy notes so of course you know that's good enough because you know they're not gonna give us deep details on what all's in here but that's good enough for me because then we don't have to play the guessing game of what's in the scent I like this guys this is really nice it's really really soft um I can smell the lavender um but it's coupled with iris and I'll share something about iris and violet scents uh, they create a natural powderiness to fragrances uh, and so I you will find in a lot of my shares of fragrances a lot of my fragrances do have a little bit of iris or violet notes in them because I like fragrances that dry down a little powdery 
and I don't do that on purpose they just kind of fall into my lap according to what I like in a fragrance and I do have a lot of them that have iris in them this is very nice I definitely get the Jean Paul Gaultier experience with this fragrance not only with the bottle design but also with the quality of the scent for four dollars and 99 cents they did a very very nice job with this um this is a very nice gift uh idea for a gentleman or if you have a young lady in your life that likes more of a masculine scent um like i said i have my days where i like the certain scents on my body um i don't know if it's um what you would call a daddy's girl syndrome where sometimes I just like that scent I like to smell that male scent um, I don't know what it is but sometimes I just like that and I think that is the reason why I love male scent so much more than I like female scents. it kind of reminds me of when I was a little girl and like after my dad was shaved and I remember that even as a, a, as a little bitty girl that scent you know when when your dad or your um significant other if you have one will finish their shower and they would shave there was always a special smell like whatever they use as their aftershave that smell and sometimes i like to smell that so i do have some uh scents in my collection that kind of give you that barbershop vibe um and a lot of them have a powdery finish to them because you know after you get a fresh haircut then you get cleaned up by your astringent then you get that little dusting of that powder so i love that vibe and that scent this is not a barbershop vibe it starts off as a clean fresh soapy scent and then it turns into something totally different and i'm waiting to see if the oriental and the vanilla and the woozy notes at the base of this will give us a really nice finish i'm interested to find out because the last three fragrances that i came on or colognes that i came on um and shared with you guys that i found at rainbow shops all three of them dried down really really nicely so so far so good this is delicious I, don't, I think this might be my favorite let's try the third one and see uh, what they gave us I love it when I find a winner all right so so far the first um, two that we have are really really delicious the second one got me y'all mm, it's good okay so the next one up is affinity and this one is an eau de cologne let me put my glasses back on i don't know why i took them off my lashes are interfering with them i should have thought about that when i picked these i'm probably gonna have to get a second pair and get one for when i want to wear like four pair of lashes at one time so i don't have to like wear them on the tip of my nose okay but they're pretty snug so i'm enjoying these um affinity eau de cologne this is a dupe it said but it says it's not though it's this is not associated with the makers of luna rosa carbon by prada all right now i like a good prada fragrance as well um in my opinion my humble opinion of my experience with prada fragrances um i love them especially all the prada um candy scents um they don't last that long on me and so that's probably why I don't have um, any speak about them. Um, you know, I really don't talk that much about them. They don't last on me that long. And for me, for the for the price that they ask for them, I need you to last longer than five hours. I just I'm just gonna you know I need you to rock for me. Okay, we're gonna raise some product. You know, we need to make sure it's now. I will share with you that their male fragrances are phenomenal. So that's why I wanted to check this out and see uh, what we're working with. Because they have, their men fragrances are banging. Trust and believe. Prada got it going on in the male category. I haven't smelled one Prada male scent that didn't smell good. And you say, color me, how you know? Because I go through and I, te I get testers. I get testers, I get samples, and I check them out. It's what I do. All right. 
so let me open up the box here and show you guys this is what i really love and i did good today you guys i didn't tear up any of the boxes these are super super snug inside the boxes i love this love this okay so let's pull her out uh-oh i think i pulled it out without the okay that's okay i'd rather do this than tear it up oh another black bottle all three of these are black okay black bottles i like it very very nice very very nice i like the presentation very nice okay so we're gonna spray a little bit and i'm gonna tell you what i think about this here friend all right okay got a little aftershave vibe popping out of the bottle right out the gate mm, okay so this is one of my kind of fragrances and when i read the notes you'll find out why again this is affinity these fragrances can be found at rainbow shops or rainbowshops.com these scents are four dollars and 99 cents or you can get three for ten dollars how can you lose they also um add, give us the notes on the back of the fragrance uh, boxes i love that so your scent notes are bergamot and pepper all of these had a little pepper in them very spicy you got middle notes of lavender more lavender here they go they're driving me bonkers with that so this one is a little light and i'll i'll share with you but okay so lavender metallic notes i love a metallic note in my scent it's got coal in it yes they use coal in fragrances watery notes i can tell because it died down really fast soil tincture and broxen and patchouli so this is a really what we would call an earthy fragrance okay it's really really light but i like the scent it's really like a it is an earthy fragrance but it's got a barbershop vibe to it definitely manly something i definitely wouldn't wear um but it's what i was telling you about that barbershop vibe funny because it's an earthy scent it's got metallic notes okay um it's got ambroxan in it it's got your patchouli it's got coal in it um this is something that i wouldn't wear and i love like i said men since i love unisex fragrances for me just to play around with I don't do very good with scents that have watery notes in them. They don't last on me. Now, what would make this last on me would probably be the Ambroxan. So if you have an issue with scents that are more watery, you'll find some Guerlain fragrances that are really, really watery. Um, and what I mean by that is they're really, really light, faint scents that you go nose blind to. But somebody else might say, are you wearing something? That kind of fragrance. Um, that's what this smells like to me. I like the bottle. I like the packaging. I like the presentation. The scent will have to grow on me. I love a barbershop vibe, but I would have to see what this is going to turn into. So out of the three that we tried today, my favorite so far is the dupe that we found from Rainbow Shops uh, for Jean-Paul Gaultier called Battle. Okay. And if you're interested in adding this one to your collection or if your hubby likes John Paul Gaultier fragrances and you'd like for him to have this just for a gym scent or if you just want this for him just to have, honey, because this may last all day long on him. Um, this one is... Well, what happened to the sticker? I done lost the sticker, y'all. Okay, John Paul Gaultier. Battle. Get you some. <laughs> This is your girl, Color Me Bad Lansing. Thank you guys for watching. We greatly appreciate all of your love and support. Right, Teddy? I'm going to fix him some oatmeal and see if that will make him say hi. If it doesn't, we just gonna, I'm just going to have to put him back in the corner. I, you know, I, ain't nobody got time for that. This is your girl, Color Me Bad Lansing. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys for clicking on the subscription button. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I hope there is something that I 
said or did that make you uh, made you smile or laugh or share the video um that's what we're here for i'm having a blast thank you for joining color me bad nation get in while the getting is good peace thought i was gone did you before you go i wanted to share this this was on my heart to share um there is a prayer inside of one of my uh children's books that i read with my granddaughters okay if you guys don't know i have two grandgirls uh, my oldest uh, of two children that I have is a she's an adult. She's got her own family and uh, she's got two little ones. They're my babies too. Uh, Nala and JD. Hi girls. Granny loves you. And so this is one of their books. Okay. And you know, I'm one of those people that always get messages and everything in life. I always ask God to show me. Okay. Uh, what he wants me to know what he wants me to see what he wants me to learn and glean from any situation any person whatever the situation and so this was such a beautiful prayer in my opinion the name of this book is called please i'll show you guys the book okay and this is one of their books this is one of their prayer books that we read sometimes um and it's called a child's uh, book of prayers and I want to read this to you guys because a lot of times uh, we think that, especially as adults, um, that um, because we have done things and gone through life and made so many mistakes or said something or done something, uh, been a part of something, that there is no turning back, that we can't be forgiven, that we, we have to have this special prayer, this special language, and you got to have all your ducks in a row and you got to be perfect in order to to get God's ear and to have forgiveness in your heart and you don't you're already forgiven and this prayer just touched my heart um in such a way and I asked God what what this what what why, why did this book just pop up for me this morning this simple prayer okay I'm gonna read it to you real quick and you can take from this whatever you want but this blessed me so much you all so here goes it just simply says, Father, we thank thee for the night and for the pleasant morning light, for rest and food and loving care and all that makes the world so fair. Help us to do the things we should, to be to others kind and good, and all we do and all we say to grow more loving every day. Amen. And I was like, why did this book just pop up for me this morning during my meditation time? And um, it just came, it just dawned on me like, you know, we are his children. You know, those that of us that believe in, you know, um, it, sometimes we just can go to God just like a baby, a little kid. And just, you know, sometimes you don't know the words to say. You don't have to have any fancy prayer. You don't have to be dressed a certain way or have on the most expensive fragrance or pull up in front of your church in the most expensive car or whatever the case may be um and guys eyes we are all the same no matter what we have and don't have and sometimes it's the simplest of prayers that get god's attention without any fanfare without anything extra without you know i gave this amount this month and this year and i'm the highest uh, giver of uh, giver in my church and i make the most money and this is my net worth sometimes he just wants us to come to him humbly and simply and just say here i am lord take me as i am receive me as your child save me forgive me cleanse me from all unrighteousness and he will do just that and i wanted to share that with you guys today it was just so weird the book just popped up in my little i was just praying and i saw the book and i picked it up and the girls aren't here with me but it, it you know if that that prayer wasn't for them that was for me you know what i mean so i thought i would come on and share that with you guys uh, and I, I didn't mean to keep you long, but I, sometimes it's important to kind of share that you you don't have to have any fancy prayer. Sometimes all you all you can say is help Lord and he'll do just that. God bless you guys. Peace.